Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped on upside down And I'd like to take a minute just sit right there I'll tell you how we came to have pubes instead of my hair Hello and welcome back to the channel of Major Look 92 the Shaman of Gaming. Now on your screen here is one of my most anticipated games that is ready for release and that is of course Gears of War Judgment. The uh, multiplayer demo just dropped today and uh, I sort of know in my last video I um, I said that I was probably, uh, you know, in all, in all probability going to upload my first Dark Souls uh, video of my new series um, or make a return on rolling back the years uh, for the year 2003 I think I reached but I completely bypassed the fact that this multiplayer demo was getting released today so uh, you know I just had to jump on the bandwagon for it and it's not much of a bandwagon I've been playing Gears for years and uh, and yeah it's one of my most anticipated games that's ready for release so uh, you know I just had to jump on it and do a sort of uh, some sort of video although I've played it quite a lot now considering it's only been out you know for a couple of hours here, I uh, don't know when this video is going to be actually uploaded, uh, it'll probably be the day after it gets released, but yeah, I've played a couple of hours now, and sort of got used to it, because, um, you know, I'm going to go over the, you know, what's actually included in the multiplayer demo, and um, it is basically displaying the new game mode that uh, Epic have introduced for Gears Judgment, and that is Overrun. For anybody who's played Halo, uh, I can't comment on whether it's in Halo 4 because I haven't uh, I haven't played Halo 4, but I don't think it is. But for anybody who's played Halo Reach, uh, it is very functionally similar to Invasion from Halo Reach. Basically, you know, there's an objective that's uh, sort of part way up the, the map, sort of, um, you know, it's about a third along the map. And everything after that is cut off. And uh, as the Locust, uh, you have to attack it. And then, you know, if you bypass that, this time it's, a, it's an emergent toll cover and you've got to destroy it. Um, once you destroy that, it moves up to another place. So it's sort of like, <clears throat> it's sort of like Invasion um, from Halo Reach and sort of like Rush from Battlefield, except it's more like Halo uh, Reach's um, Invasion because it's class-based. You have uh, people who can, uh, you know, engineers who can fix the fences. Uh, you can have uh, assault troops, you know, like the Grenadier area who's got, you know, a shotgun and a lancer with uh, a grenade. And, you know, you've got people who play all the different roles. So it's, you know, really is functionally similar to Invasion. And uh, to be honest, I really, really love this game mode. And, you know, it's probably going to be the ones, one of the ones I play more often in Judgment. Because, as I said, I'm so looking forward to the release of this full game. I used to be a bit of a Gears uh, veteran in my day. I've not really uploaded any Gears on my channel. I think I've done like a one video without commentary really early on and on my old ch channel there's a Gears 2 uh, gameplay on there with no commentary on it as well but I used to be a bit of a veteran and I used to be you know much better at this than, a, than I've ever, ever been at a different multiplayer game and I was a bit of a beast to be honest so I'm hopefully trying to you know when Judgment gets released I'm going to try and get back into uh, playing Gears a lot more regularly and playing it probably more than any other multiplayer game because I just I've had some of my best times on Xbox Live uh, playing Gears of War, so but anyway, let's get back into this uh, into the game mode. Overrun is really, really enjoyable. I can see, like, if you're playing as a team, especially because you can assign people to different roles and you can either defend, you know, really sort of really, really well as a team if you're sort of communicating, and as attackers, instead of just mindlessly rushing it, if you're speaking to each other, you can all do different things. One of you can whittle down the fences while the others rush through and try and clear out whilst, uh, you know, getting the objective uh, destroyed. And then you've got people who are more adept at, you know, destroying the objective, like an emergence all cover, if you get somebody to flush out the fences, somebody to flush out the actual enemies, you can bring a mauler in, and then the mauler will just smash away at the whole cover until it goes. So in that regard, the per it's, it's really perfectly structured, and even the map, I don't know how the maps are going to work, like, obviously there's going to be other game modes in the game, I know they've actually brought Domination in for, for Gears Judgment, and they've got, like, Team Deathmatch, but I don't know whether these maps are actually going to be in Team Deathmatch, because they're actually more suited to a game mode like this, because uh, as you can see from the overhead map, it's sort of like a narrow, long map, where so it's like pushing progressively forward, and, um, and yeah, so it's more suited to a game mode like this other than TDM. Uh, not saying that it wouldn't work for TDM because, you know, we've seen multiplayer maps like this before. Uh, a lot of the Gears of War 3 ones are actually like this. Two of the ones that I can think of are Overpass and Dry Dock are really like that. Really sort of narrow and long instead of, you know, having a sort of square map. 
<clears throat> but the game mode, yeah, like I said, it's a really, really enjoyable game mode, really good experience. The whole classic, uh, classic, <laughs> the Jurassic, no, the classic uh, Gears of War uh, systems are back in, like that bollocks. <laughs> no, uh, you know, you've got to sort of forgive things like that happening every now and again. It happens in every multiplayer game that's ever been released. But anyway, yeah, Overrun, really, really good game mode. Definitely one of the ones I'm going to be playing, uh, you know, most often. Um, if Especially if I've got a team, and hopefully I'm going to build one of those. Because in my day, I was not I was a really, really adept Gears of War player, and I actually got invited to play uh, competitively a couple of times. Um, but I just like playing for, you know, fun at that time. But if I can get a team together, I'd, I'd love to have a crack at it, really. Um, because this is a really team-based uh, game mode. One of the things that I love very, very much about this game mode is I think I sort of flashed the scoreboard up a couple of times in this game. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, one of the things I love like a lot about it, and I think it's just an absolutely gear shot, um, and it's actually an excellent idea, is the fact that it doesn't actually show how many kills and deaths or, you, you know, kill to death ratio on the scoreboard. It's, uh, it's how adept you are at the combat, so basically you get score for killing people, that goes onto your combat score, then you have support for people, uh, a support score for people who drop ammo packs and things like that, and, uh, and people who, you know, maybe drop turrets, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you get support one for that, and there's another there's another category, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, and my preview screen's too small, so I can't actually see what's going on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually show you how many kills and how many deaths you've had, so, you know, for sort of uh, get, get headshot, um, you know, for objective-based players who really like to work as a team and, and you know, are more pride, like, they take more pride from winning than they do, uh, you know, like KD ratio, this is definitely the game mode for you. Uh, another thing is, because as the Locust, you actually have different creatures, whereas, um, you know, if you're actually playing as the Cog, you have, all, they're all human and, you know, they're all the same size and shape, because you're defending, you don't really have to move too much, but because the reason why I think these maps will possibly be separate from TDM, don't, don't you know, I'm not saying that they will be, but the thing, the thing that makes me think they will is at times in this game uh, you can actually see paths that are created for like tickers and wretches and, and sort of human sized enemies can't fit through them so I don't know whether if these maps are in other game modes like Team Deathmatch whether they'll be like plugged up I don't know, I don't really know what difference it makes to be honest but um, yeah you will see in, in time like in some of the uh, moments in this gameplay that there is the sort of little gaps where, you know, maybe a ticker can bypass uh, one of the fences and try and get behind enemy lines, uh, and there's some for wretches and stuff like that, and uh, I'll point out when I go past the next one. I'm pretty sure when we push up to the third uh, capture point, the generator at the end, I think I walk past a little tunnel, uh, like a little sort of ventilation, ventilation shaft that a ticker can go through. So it's really perfectly, you know, um, sort of structured and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, to play. But um, anyway, you know, one thing I did want to say actually is uh, because, as I said, I sort of got invited to uh, you know play the old Gears games, especially Gears 2, competitively. Get her shied. Um, if there's anybody out there watching this video who actually fancies building a team on the 360, um, not particularly to go into competitive gaming. You know, if you want to do that we possibly can if it gets to that stage but just you know people who want to form a team I'm definitely down for that because as I said um, Gears of War was my game at one point you know like it was a game that I played a lot more than anything else before I really uploaded a lot of Call of Duty uh, I'm not taking anything away from Call of Duty uh, as much as some other YouTubers are obviously but um, no but Gears of War was my primary multiplayer game at one point and you know I really was quite adept at it and uh, I just want to get back into that so if there's anybody who actually wants to play play alongside me and, and sort of build a team and go for those wins maybe in some over and, and I'm really up, uh, looking forward to playing Domination as well uh, it's literally exactly the same as you know Call of Duty Domination with three flags um, obviously uh, Gears of War has always had a sort of capture and hold um, game modes in it but that's been in the form of like Annex where it's sort of one point that moves around and King of the Hill where it's one point for an entire round uh, so they've always had that, but they've never actually had domination, and it'll be interesting. Um, 
and the fact that they've got domination in it makes me now think, I know I'm, I'm flip-flopping on this like during a video, but it actually makes me think that these sort of long linear maps possibly will be in other game modes because, you know, you don't want a map that's too small for playing domination, especially in a Gears of War game because, uh, you know, it's not as accessible as like a COD map because there's no, uh, you know, there's no jumping in Gears of War. So uh, the map's not as accessible, so, you know, possibly these other maps will be in there. I can see how this would work. Obviously, if there's some three, you know, progressive capture points in this game mode, then that's probably where the flags will be in domination. But I literally just can't stress how excited I am for this game's release. Um, you know, when I actually remembered that the multiplayer uh, demo was out today, I couldn't believe that I'd actually sort of bypassed it and forgotten it, because I really was looking forward to, uh, to playing it. And I'm very, very much looking forward to uh, the actual release. And uh, believe me, there's going to be a lot of Gears Judgment videos. I'm going to try and get back into uh, the real shaman. Because I was a Gears of War shaman at one point, as I've mentioned. And uh, I'm hoping to get back to that level. So, uh, you know, there's probably going to be a lot more Gears Judgment um, videos than possibly anything else on my channel. Uh, once the release comes around in a few days. So uh, I think this video is just about winding down. I'm, I think there's probably about 30 seconds left just as this, uh, as it shows the scoreboard and stuff. So yeah, I would really suggest that you, you know, try out this multiplayer demo. As I said, hit me up if you fancy playing alongside me. Um, and uh, yeah, I would really suggest you buy the game when it's released. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you found it informative and you enjoyed it. And I will see you very, very soon. Two videos will be linked after this. And, uh, and that's it. Bye.